In teaching celestial navigation, I found that people have a little bit of problem because a long time they learned about latitude and longitude. So maybe I'll go over that idea now. What is latitude and longitude uh, and how you find it? So first, we're looking at a globe of the Earth. And on this globe, we have a latitude. Now this is, excuse me, equator, which runs with latitude. Latitude is like a ladder going up. So the equator is zero, and on top of the globe, we have 90 degrees. So from the equator to the North Pole is 90 degrees. Now, we have a latitude system here where we can measure off latitudes by number 0 through 90. And we can say that any place on Earth runs on those latitudes. But our system really is two parts. It has what is known as longitude. Now longitude, through that zero again, uh, is through Greenwich, England. And it runs from the equator for the northern hemisphere to the North Pole. Now this is the nor northern hemisphere. Now this line splits what's known as the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. The Western Hemisphere is where the United States is. The Eastern Hemisphere contains most of Europe, Russia, and the Far East. So we can describe a place on this Earth by saying latitude and let's say Newport, Rhode Island, latitude 41, and a longitude. Well, the longitude runs to the Western Hemisphere through 180, as well as 180 through the Eastern. So Newport, Rhode Island is at 71 West. So let me move the globe around. Now you can see the Western Hemisphere, and you can see 71 is right there. So the 41 line runs around the globe at this latitude, 41 north, north meaning Northern Hemisphere, and 71 west meaning West Hemisphere. So the intersection is Newport, Rhode Island. So this gives us a way to describe any place on Earth. No matter where you go, we can describe it by latitude and longitude. So this is the advantage of having a system like this. Now, if we take this Earth and look at the North Pole, the 90 degrees latitude, very top of the pole, and if we push this Earth down to a flat disk, we would have a system like this, which is really the same system, but has a different appearance, of course. So let me home in on that a bit. Now, we're looking at a North Pole, and this becomes the equator. So latitude runs this way in circles, which is really the same thing towards the North Pole. Um, longitude runs from zero west 180 or east 180 to 180. But if we want to describe Newport, Rhode Island, we have to come up from 
the equator 41 degrees and this circle would be 41 degrees then we have to take and go from 0 to 170 or excuse me 71 degrees which would be Newport Rhode Island so this is a system that uh, works very well and we can uh, at any time use it to describe places uh, such as I just described.